This is how to work with gradients in Adobe Illustrator. Let's go over to our tools panel and we're going to select, let's say the circle or the oval or ellipse. Matter of fact, let's create a star. We haven't done a star yet. So I'm gonna drag out a nice star. We're gonna give it a color. And let's say we drag out a second star. Give it a different color. Now, essentially a gradient is a transition from one color to another, a very smooth transition. And on the right hand side of your Illustrator window, you'll notice that you should have a gradient panel. Usually it's next to your stroke panel. You click it and your gradient panel will come up. If it is not there, you go to your window menu and all you have to do is you go down to gradient, click it, and then it'll come up on the right hand side of Illustrator. So in here you have, before we actually put this on the artwork, we're gonna look at the gradient area. When we click this, you'll notice there's a type button. If you click it, there's linear and then there's radial. And if you look at the icon or the image of the gradient, when you click linear, this is the image that appears. It's a basic gradient from white to black. And if you were to change it to radial, you'll notice it looks more so like a sphere. So you're gonna see that the white goes outward in a circle towards the black. Then you have your angle and you actually have your aspect ratio. Now the aspect ratio, essentially what that does is it will change the height and width of your actual gradient shape. And then the angle will change the angle that the gradient goes on. So your gradient may go from left to right, but instead of it going as a flat line, it may angle upward. So there are things like that that the angle will actually change. So what we're gonna do is we're going to click one of our shapes and we're gonna go over to the type dropdown and we're gonna click linear. And once we click that, you'll notice that from left to right, we have a white to black gradient. Now we can adjust the distance between these by clicking the swatch that's white, dragging it back, or we can click the gradient slider and we can use that, either or. Now, once we click a color, we can actually change the opacity as well. You can increase or decrease it, depending upon which swatch you have selected. So if I were to select the black one, I can change the opacity, and you'll notice that it's actually changing. And depending upon what color is behind it, let's put this in back you'll notice the transparency actually comes through the actual shape. So that's how you can see whether or not what you're doing is right. Now, if we were to go back in here and we were to click this, let's go here. We can bump this back up and we'll notice that it's pretty much solid again. You can also change the location without sliding it by selecting the swatch, change the location numerically at the bottom. Now you can change whether the gradient goes from left to right or right to left by underneath the actual gradient swatch, there's a reverse gradient button. So when you click it, you'll notice that it switches from left to right. Now, if we were to take this, let's say we want to create a radial gradient we click in the type box of our gradient area, we go to radial, and now you can see the difference. All rules still apply. You can actually change the distance between the black and white. It'll increase or decrease the size of the circle that's inside that gradient. You can reverse it. You can change the opacity. Just drag this over here so we see that it's working. And we can change the angle of the gradient. Now, let's go to our original one and change the angle and you'll see that the gradient will start to shift inside. 
So we can change it so that it goes in the direction we want. Or we can use the gradient tool, which you hit the G button on your keyboard and it'll bring up our gradient bar, which we can then shift to change where our gradient starts, stops, change the size. And the same thing that we were doing in our gradient panel with our colors and the marks that are on there. And that's how you work with gradients in Adobe Illustrator. Thank you.